In our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about row spacing. Why do some farmers have wide rows and others have narrow rows? All right, first of all, this is not the difference between 500 bushel corn and 200 bushel corn. Just switching a row spacing doesn't make that much difference for farmers, but it does make a significant difference when you look at the equipment that's going to be used out in the field. And also, as you move further north in the country, when you have a shorter growing season, filling in those rows quicker to catch all the sunlight is easier to accomplish with narrow rows. All right, but here's the thing. There are a lot of different crops, and let's say that a farmer wants to raise three or four or five different crops. Well, is he going to match up row spacing with every single one of those crops? Maybe or maybe not. So let's take soybeans, for example, on our farm. We plant most of our beans now in 30 inch rows. Part of the reason why we don't plant them in 10 inch rows or 7 inch rows in what we would call very narrow rows is because we have a lot more disease pressure. When the rows are close together, then basically what ends up happening is more moisture is trapped in those rows. There's more humidity there. There's more likelihood of disease issues. And in our operation, we have a major problem with sclerotinia white mold and other soybean diseases. So we don't like narrow rows for soybeans. Well, in corn, it really changes things when you go to these narrow row spacings about how the corn plants are going to be spaced out in the field. A lot of farmers think as they get to higher populations that, you know what, narrow rows are kind of nice because I can leave more space in between the plants versus when I'm in a wide row trying to slam a lot of plants per acre out there, they've got to be really pretty close together. I do see the merit to that. There's no question about that. But there are some challenges with narrow rows as well uh, with stock quality and how they're going to stand out in the field. So there are some trade-offs there for farmers to consider if they look at different row spacings in corn. Now let's turn to wheat, for example. If you were going to put wheat in 30 inch rows, you probably wouldn't raise a lot of wheat. Wheat is a much shorter plant than corn and to some degree soybeans as well. So when you've got that short plant, you're not going to capture enough sunlight. You're not going to shade the row in. And if you don't capture the sunlight, obviously you've lost yield. If you don't shade the row in, you're going to have a lot more wheat Needs. So there are a lot of disadvantages to wide rows when it comes to a short stature plant like wheat. Well, unfortunately, if there are some benefits to one row spacing versus another, farmers really have to choose. They can't just switch up all their equipment to move from one to the other. They can't switch the widths of their tires and these kinds of things. So farmers really do pick one system and try and stay with it. Well, and yeah, but Darren, they, they will plant multiple crops. Like even on our farm, we do raise some wheat. Okay, well, we have to have different equipment equipment for that versus the corn or soybean equipment. So that's the whole thing that Darren's getting at it here. It just is. adds a lot more expense. Exactly. So there are many reasons why farmers will go to narrow rows versus wide rows or the other way around. I mean, we look at wide rows on our farm as a big advantage, but some people think it's a big disadvantage. So it all depends on that farmer, his ground, his situation, and the crops he's raising. Well, one of the considerations too that we didn't discuss is weed control. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed later in the show.